So Germany in the All Black throw off this EHF Euro Cup match against Sweden in the yellow shirts. Here in Mannheim, the SAP Arena. Paul Bray here with you for this game. Sweden, of course, the defending European champions. Germany starts somewhat as expected. It is Schiller on the left wing, Boetsky on the far side, across the back, Kuster, Knorr, Hefner, and on the line, Gola, on a superb line back. Kuster gets the first shot, he's under pressure and gets a free throw. Two metres tall, Kuster. He was uh, selected for the European Championship team last year. Germany, though, were utterly beset with COVID, ended up using 28 players for that competition. But it did mean that Kuster suddenly found himself from sitting at the end of the bench to uh, coming on court and in his opening match where he really got some play time, six goals against Poland. And they get the first penalty of the game. Raised eyebrows from Alfred Gislason in need of worry. Vladimir Jovandic was uh, on the case. Penalty. Schiller. And scores. Opening goal goes to Germany. Tulin came a long way forwards. In fact, as far forwards as he's allowed at the four metre line. Didn't give him much time to react, though. Took him for pace. Sweden, no surprise, Hampus Barnum on the far side, Ekberg on the right wing, legendary player, 799 goals for Sweden, across the back, Karls Borbor, Gottfriedsen, Lagerbrand and Daria on the line, oh they've stolen it, great for Germany but there are more yellow shirts coming back, Gola, they left them alone, excellent start by Germany. And the Flensburg line player makes it 2-0 inside two minutes. A little bit of a careless play across the back with this uh, very deep defence. Oh, yes! They played it deep. And suddenly, Dari found himself in acres of space as we watched that last goal by Gola. And he barely got time to catch breath as he scores his second. Excellent start, 3-0. Lagerdon cuts inside, Gottfriedsen. Very active defence by Germany. And Dari finds a way through. 31-year-old in place for Fuchs Berlin. Nine of the uh, Swedish players play their club handball in Germany. They do know each other very well. Gottfriedsen looked a bit like a cheap goal, but it was well placed. Slightly unsighted, Andreas Wolf in goal, didn't cover it. 3-0, suddenly 3-2. Coolly and calmly, the Swedes get themselves going here, back into the game. In the centre, Knorr, number 15, 22-year-old. Based behind Nicolo, this is his home ground. Shifted left now, number 15. Back again, Tuster, two metres of him. Tries to go through, that would be a free throw. And he gets an order back in again, good defending in the centre. Dari and Karls Borgor. No, looking for the line. Tuster passes into the wing, Schiller through the keeper. Second goal of the game for Marcel Schiller. Sweden tried to take the quick throw off, looking for the line. They're trying to force it too much twice now, it's been stolen. Schiller back again, Knorr into the line, Gola had to get his balance, but that's goal number three. Well, we've been playing four minutes and we've had seven goals. Five of them for Germany against the European champions. Legendary player, Oliver Hoggish. Over 200 times for Germany. Good height, oh yes! Carlos Borgor gets his first of the game, the 27-year-old Barcelona left back. To Spain from Limco in Germany last summer, but Gola is unstoppable. Four goals already. 
German captain is causing mayhem at the back in the Swedish defence. Five minutes played, 6 3. The last one better for the Germans. Playing a very deep defence, and the Swedes struggling to get into their game. Their supporters have made the trip into Mannheim. Looking for the line, this time they do find Dari. Second goal for the Fuchs Berlin player. Been used a lot in the past by uh, Sweden as a defence specialist, but now increasingly an attacking player. They've got three light players on the bench here today. Frederik Peterson from Toulouse and uh, Bergendahl, who plays in Stuttgart. There, looking for the line, manages to release the ball, the whistle's gone already. It'll be a free throw, it's deafening in the arena here. Filling out fast. Gola comes out, and now Schiller has come a long way round. He's in the centre now, light player duty. All right, dummies it, Dukes, inside, oh! Brilliant shot, brilliant save, and what a follow-up. Who else? It's Gola. Goal number five. Frustration for Tulin, who made a fine first save and save at the other end to Andreas Wolf. The Wolf is on the prowl again. They are really pushing the line, Sweden. They've been dispossessed twice. And Wolf makes a fine save early on. A way through, he's over the line, it won't count. That's a shame. Schiller coming around again, quick play. Ekberg, and he scores. Silence in the arena, but that is Ekberg's 800th goal for Sweden. Place for Kiel. Right up in the north of Germany, a long standing member of that squad. So approaching his 200th international for Sweden as well, Ekberg. Absolute legend. Again, comes around as a second line. Krista comes back to give himself a bit of a line. Oh, fires it over the top. Ball out quickly. Tobias Tulin into the wing again. Egbert back to back goals. Silences the crowd here. 33 year old winger. Phenomenal player, Egbert. Leading at four world championships, five European championships, and two Olympics. Again. Three goals is now just a one goal lead. Eight and a half minutes in. Are again. Hi, Hefner. Been a little bit quiet for the time being, but uh, the supplier than the scorer, but this time he gets on the score sheet. 65th goal for the Melsunga back player. Two goal lead restored, coming up to nine minutes played. Not much Banner can do about that. This day very close to him. Whitesky on the far side. Good defending. Going to be a free throw. That was a very close call. One no second longer, and it could have been an attacking foul. They're being made to work very, very hard indeed. They close quickly. Lagergren gets the call. Lagergren, another one. Plays in Germany, but for Reinecker Löwen, like uh, Germany's Knorr, he plays in this arena. That's his home ground. Oh, that's beautiful! Opens his account with a deft little broken wrist shot. Drops his uh, wrist back. Curves it over the goalkeeper's shoulder. Back to within one. <laughs> now he goes up and uh, teases Knorr with a little uh, air swipe. Find Nick 
Kalum, the uh, local club here. Ignore and Lager Grand Player currently top of the uh, German Bundesliga with maximum point. That's gone wide. First shot for Patrick Groetzky back in the team after one and a half years. And uh, Oliver Rogic looks on rather impassively. Groetzky, who is really on the form of his life at the moment, he's having a terrific season. 31 goals so far with Rhein Nikalum, another hugely experienced player in his 155th international today. Egbert comes around on the line, see if that can draw the defenders back and give them the space. Gottfriedsen quickly closed down. That's good defending, but it's unfair, says the referee, and they get the free throw. That was lucky because Schiller was away. Gottfriedsen. MVP at the European Championships last year, and Wolf again! Brilliant save of Ekberg, goes out to the side, the ball stays with Sweden. But that was brilliant. Read it well. Wolf Vixen into the wing. Ah, oh, this time he beats him. Ekberg, goal number three, top scoring for the Swedes. was nice. And Gola is already on six goals. He's just been untreatable on the line. Look at this, a lovely uh, pass around the back. Lagergren. to the game, we thought, a nice tight game after a 3-0 opening start by Germany. Still not quite in their stride, Sweden, not being allowed to play their game with some very good defending by Germany. Very mobile defence, very active with depth. Passive play now, four passes, get the shot away! Does exactly the same again, Ekberg. Goal number four, takes the pace off the ball, turns it over. And Glenn Solberg's happy with that. The game. Superman. Johannes Gola, number seven. Gottfriedsen thinks about the quick flick of the wrist there, but it's uh, not on. Now he goes in on the line. One meter ninety-two, Dali. Central defenders, somewhat taller than he is. Shot efficiency, the Swedes marginally better than 75%. 71%. Germany. Another passive play call. Four passes to get the shot away. Looks to the line. Oh, nothing given. Well, he seemed to be under a lot of pressure. Takes it well, though. Goes back quietly. Bench claiming uh, there should have been some infringement there, but nothing given for Hampus Varner. Charles Borgor and Dari propping up the centre of the uh, Swedish 6 0 defence. Uh, Gola being given a bit of a break now. I think he's done his bit. Seven goals. Germany leading 10 9. Gets a bit of a breather, the captain. Instead, uh, Zechel has gone in, number 26, uh, 26 years of age, rather, number 96. And he's playing just his fourth international. No. Hefner looks to the line, that was a good steal. Karls Borgor. Got his hand in the way, Dari just hasn't got the pace, he's covered all the way by Kusta. Hans Borgor. Lagergren decides, let's slow it down and uh, build up again. Sweden about to make a few changes here with the uh, lineup struggling a little bit to find solutions. Karls Borgor has temporarily switched into the centre. Looks into the wing, bit of an angle there, that's good. And it's 10 all. They've closed it right back again, midway through the first half. Hampus 
Svana there, scoring his second goal to bring them level. Looking for the line. Zesho, still two metres tall. And, uh, struggling there. Oh, chance goes begging. That's a bad miss by Albin Lagerbein, puts it wide of the goal, having broken through beautifully. Weber has now come on number 20. At left back for Germany, the Magdeburg player. This centre as well, but for the moment he'll stay in the left back as Knorr stays in the centre. Maybe another change of foot because Brooks has now taken off his shirt. It's Kuster who's made way for uh, Weber. Greatest of shots down the middle, Lagergren. All moved out quickly. That's a good save by Tobias Tulin, who plays for Gilgi in Denmark. Moved there from Stuttgart in the summer. We've got uh, here was the goal, the uh, attempted uh, shot, I should say. A great save by Tulin angle as well. So both teams making a lot of changes. Quite a few players, especially the back. Davi has gone on the line. Lagerbun and uh, Karl Sporbo have come off. Sandel is now on. Along with Eric Johansson. Nice breakthrough. Hampus Varner, third goal of the game. And Sweden take the lead from three down. They're now one up. Weber. Witzka has come in as well in place of Knorr. Witzka, who's just 23 years of age, played 10 times for number 99 for Germany for his country. 22 goals, though, has been useful. Weber shifts into the middle, Witzka goes left. Schiller comes all the way back into his win now. Weber. Blocked early, that was good defending by Johansson. Witzka, no way through there, and that's good defending as well. Lukas Sandel, plays for Olbor, currently leading the Danish championship. Weber tries a shot, well covered, Tulin. Looks for the fast ball out. Fritzson looks up, no options immediately at hand. Two on the line for the moment, trying to make space for him. Sandel switches back, but there aren't too many options, and they decide to slow things down. Gottfriedsen comes off. Big shot, and he's covered all the way. Play by Tulin. In for Mikael Appelgren this week. So Sweden have now completely changed their back lineup because in the centre is Felix Klar, another one who plays for Old Boy Denmark. Like Carl Sporgor getting a great passive play called against the Swedes. Oh, that's nice play! And his first shot of the game, Frederik Peterson, who's just come on on the line for Dari, is beaten by Wolf. Oh, chance goes begging. Unbelievable hold of the uh, front page. Golas missed one. Back on again. What a lovely pass into him, though. By Goetzki, that was class. Eighteen minutes played, 11, 10. Sweden are leading. Crowd doing their best to lift up Germany here against the European champions. Nice breakthrough. That's good play. First goal of the game. Erik Johansson plays for Kiel. Oh, Germany and the team timeout called by Germany. First of the game as we see the action again. Slightly off balance, but uh, went straight through the legs of the keeper. Straight through the ball.
Johannes, du musst da drei. In der Abwehr, da spielst du nicht eins der AB, sondern eins maximal und gehst da wie. Du musst da wie gehen. Okay? Also, wenn der auf drei ist, dann geh, machst du das. Und aber ihr müsst da richtig gehen. Spiel ihr jetzt aus dem Jugo mit Johnny. Okay? Steini ist drin. Steini ist drin. He's probably was coming with shot efficiency, which was at 1.71% on in the game, but he's now set to 56%. Egberg and his four goals. The play resumes then after the first team timeout of the game pulled by Germany. We've seen a three-goal lead become a two-goal deficit. Let's try and reset things. For the Lions, going to be a free throw. Christoph Steiner has now come on. Steiner to his uh, right back. It's Club Erlangen, but does play right wing when needed. Came off the foot of Weber, but he was being fouled in the process. He wins the free throw. They switch back again. Steiner goes into his more customary right back, and Boetsky returns to the wing. It's captain. Takes a shot. Unlucky off the post. The rebound comes kindly, though. Zesha. Oh, lovely sidestep, that was class. Felix Clark. Lovely breakthrough. Witzka to the line. It's going to be a penalty defending inside the area against Team Zesha. Rolla, the captain on his feet, applauding his uh, counterpart on the line. Schiller. Oh, misses. It goes wide. Frustration for Germany, whose shooting stats are heading south. Schiller has had a terrific season, third top scorer in the German Bundesliga with 49 goals for Göttingen, 26 of them penalties, but today it wasn't his best. Past the 20 minute mark. Long range shot that sails over the top. Not particularly well framed by Lucas Sendel. Oh, beautiful! Setcho! Lovely spin on the ball! Cows in the round, Tulin. Lovely pass, but look at that finishing. Brilliant. Oh, did well, picks it up, steadies himself, and beats both. First goal of the game for Lucas Sandel. Oh, Sweden lead by two, free throw. Still down, I think he's just taking a breather. Sandel with that last goal. Playing an old boy in Denmark where he scored 19 goals with them. Even at the top of the uh, leaderboard at the moment. Showing he's a dab hand in defence as well. Unconventional, maybe. But effective. Going to the line. Oh, such a big angle on the wing for Schiller, and he misses another one. Tulin, good save. Scoreline still a two 
goal deficit, seven minutes in the first half remaining here in this EHF Euro Cup match. The opening matches of this uh, competition for these two teams. Into the line, beautifully done, good save ball. But Sandel picks up the rebound, Ekberg. And that's goal number five for Niklas Ekberg. When the loose ball is missed, he's left on his own. Teams will play again next weekend when Germany travel to Spain. Sweden will be at home to neighbours Denmark. Vinska. Pressure gets a free throw. Steinert. Just come in there. All ages. Defenders probably a good idea. Passive play call now for Germany. Oh, good save again. Tulin coming into his own now. There's no fast break chance though. Play away. Hampers Van on the left wing has covered all the way. Right out on the clock. Defending by Germany, really aggressive, very, very deep. Really active defence. But uh, as Tillin looks up, and no options on the wing, but he's having a brilliant match. Really helped turn things around for Sweden. Gets to the line, comes off the shoulder of the German defender. In any event. Stepped over the line for the winger. Witzka, his shot is blocked, the loose ball is picked up again. Vanner again is covered. Steinert, in that respect, has done an excellent job for Germany. Going back with Vanner every time, making sure he couldn't get the quick pass. Has to go around. No way through again. This active defence going very well for Germany. Too much pressure. when he's dangerous, if you give him a bit of space. Erik Johansson, 22-year-old who uh, moved to Kiel this summer and has been on terrific form for them. 33 goals and 24 assists. He's really found his, uh, his rhythm there. About four minutes remaining. And now the lead is growing. 16-12 to Sweden. is back on again in the centre. Slim Noel will get the free throw. Nothing's going to be required. Germany have never played in the uh, EHF Euro Cup. Sweden for their part, the third in uh, 2020. This match, depending on how it goes on, could be a good chance for some of the younger players. Johansson's already on, but Valinius is still on the bench. We'll be hoping to get some time here today. So the play resumes. Three and a half minutes to go. Germany would love to close this gap just a bit. Passive play call against them. They're back. Oh, yes. This time they stood back and gave him a bit of space. He took it well. Steinert, who both come off. The shot, respected for the keeper. Team timeout, Sweden. You got it, you may as well use it. Timeouts for team one, you can use it each half. One's a floater, you can use an either half. And in the loose, you can't use two in the last five minutes. We value the spieler. We value the spieler in the middle of the day. We're going to get from the ball in here. Så du som trea där borta väljer att gå eventuellt och plocka honom eller gå dit och markera tidigt. Felix koreanar eventuellt så vi tar liksom dem. Han får inte komma in och skjuta där. Men nu får du ta den och sen så faller vi i så fall. Plockar du honom så korsar vi bakom. Okej? Okay? 
Jag har Finsk Barsa, du ligger i mitten, du drar isär, ligger ett, två, Hampus, ligger fyra, fem, finta inåt. Då kommer trean gå ner, då smäller du på över defensiv trean med. Hej, någon måste ha ja. det. He's a long way out front, two meters of him with that long reach. Switches, now the space on the outside, oh yes! Wolf committed and immediately the ball spun in underneath him. That was very nicely done. It's Clark, second goal of the game. In another slip, Gola tries to pass the ball out to the wing. They'll get the free throw for the push. Two and a half minutes remaining. Goes off. The Germany are going to finish with uh, seven against uh, seven against six. Taking out their goalkeeper and put on the extra attacker. Desperate to try and make some inroads on this lead before half time. Psychologically important. So Zetchel and Grola now both in on the line. Weber. Knorr and Steiner to cross the back. Yes, that's opened it up very nicely. And Knorr, the local boy, scores his first of the game. Big cheer in the arena. Happy with that. Touch on the way through, it'll be a throw in for Sweden to keep possession. We're inside the last two minutes of the first half. Gola bellows his orders to the defense. We've gone back to a more conventional, flatter defense at least for the moment. Oh, lovely! Little windmill over the top, and Sandell scores his second. The four goal lead restored. Quick play by Germany off the throw off. Oh, brilliant, Knorr again, long-range effort, buried that one in the back of the net. Tulin Valley move. A little sidestep again, they're standing inside the area, it's a penalty. Both the defenders, in fact, no doubt at all. Vladimir Jovandic, the referee, gives that one. That was a lovely effort, though. Just a blur to him. Sweden, Hampus Varner steps up to take it. And scores and keeps the pressure on. Fourth goal of the game. First on the seven metre line in Germany. Four goals down again after this. Solberg will be very happy. But about 20 seconds remaining for Germany to put one back before the break. Weber stands wide, Sandell drops back in, Gola, yes, seventh goal for the captain, second remaining, Sweden, oh, stolen, Gola, they won't have time, the buzzer goes, what a shame, and that is the half-time buzzer, Gola stealing the ball, straight off the throw-off, he was just outside the throw-off circle, Sweden in such a rush to get the uh, quick move up court, but for uh, Germany's coach Alfred Gislas on disappointment to see a three goal lead early become a four goal lead for the Swedes at one point here. They managed to just claw it back to within three. He will be very happy though on the right, Glenn Solberg. So at half time here in this EHF Euro Cup match in Madrid last year.
have gone back to a very active defence. That's more like it. It's starting to cause problems again. The drums are beating here. Ah! Lent around it really nicely. Max Dari is resumed on the line. Oh, good save. Tulin again. Angola comes away empty handed with his first shot of the second half. Tobias Tulin, 27 year old, playing his 34th international. Played for a while in Magdeburg and then last year he was still with Stuttgart. He spent just one year with them before moving to Gilgi in Denmark. At the other end, that was the goal that uh, Klimka couldn't stop. Karl Sporgott. Got Switzerland back on again now. Karl Sporgott back to the starting lineup. Lagerkorn on the right hand side. He's looking for a quick pass to the wing, but that's a cut out by Kuster. It's a throw in. Sweden keep possession. Response to the active defence. Sweden bring a wing around Daniel Peterson. Coming in from the far side. He's staying there for the moment. Bit of space, no, he couldn't use it. Gottfriedsen was thinking about it. Now passive play, four passes to get the shot away. Surely that must be the last one. He'll get a free throw, but it's going to be one pass and shot. They're checking with the referee, and yeah. Vladimir Jovandic says one. The referee says move back three meters. Give them a bit of space. Here we go. Oh, switched again. That came off a defender. It'll be a throw in from the corner, but still. It's going to be one pass and shoot. Gottfriedsen again comes round to make himself available. Dari plants himself in front of him to try and put a block on for him. But it's going to be challenging. Here we go. He's got to make it one. Gottfriedsen blocked again. Now the break is on. Germany go. Steiner switch back. Koetsky managed to keep his balance, but it's an attacking foul. He barbed into the defender. Charles Borgo just stood there and took the hit. Gottfriedsen looks for the line, Dari. Brilliant. Fourth goal for Dari, but a lovely supply in by Jim Gottfriedsen, the Flensburg playmaker. Four goals now, and uh, the break is on. They were just trying to switch to seven against six. And that's nicely put away. Lucas Pelas has just come on. 27-year-old, he plays for Montpellier in France. Quickly on the break, Steiner looking for the line, but it's comfortably stolen. And it's Karl Borgo again who releases the left winger. No chance for Kimka. The lead is growing. Three goals without reply early on, that's gone wide again. Back comes Swin, Gottfried's an empty goal. Yeah, well, if you play seven against six, that's the danger. You're leaving it open at the back. Tulin starts it all off. He's going straight back off again, Klimka. Knorr goes in. Smile from Gottfriedsen. And Sweden are ominously well in their zone at the moment. It looks like they've changed their mind. That was the uh, open goal. Easy goal for Gottfriedsen. The second of the game. Volf not too happy. So Germany decide to give up on the seven against six after just two attacks. Team uh, goes back in goal again, loose ball, but it's a free throw. There's some holding going on. I think on Gola, who's also gone back in for Zetsho. He's got some plenty to think about here. Wojtski. Semper has now come in too. That's well saved by Tulin. Read it all the way, made it look very, very easy. Look to the line, Dari. Ah, oh, beautiful. Exactly the same as before. Gottfriedsen, the provider. Dari finishes it. And he joins Ekberg now on five goals for Sweden. And a disastrous start to the second half. Germany all over the place. Lagergren. And poor old Klimka has been left to his own devices. Team timeout, surely. Yes, it is. Germany need a break. Germany.
And uh, Glenn Solberg has got it just right here. Five minutes and six goals for Sweden. Wir schmeißen den Ball nur noch so weg vorne, okay? Alles klar? Wir, deswegen haben wir so viele Tore jetzt kassiert, okay? Hold. Und Hold. Du kommst jetzt für, für Sylvia, okay? Okay? Wir wechseln langsam ab, wir wechseln an, wir abwehr, Zeltchen kommt rein. Der Paul ist auf dem Kopf. Für Juli. Zeltchen für Juli. Was, was? Du und wechsel mit, mit Zeltchen. Und ab und ab und ab. Hey, Jungs, vorne. Spielen wir, was wir spielen wollen. Ha, Löwen, mit Kreuz. Ha, Weiter geht's. Komm, zwei, drei, mit Kreuz. Komm, jetzt, Jungs. 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 Well, a big one now to try and uh, pick up the Germans after this disaster start. Gislason trying to find the right words. Tough as well for a tilt clinker in goal, who's conceded six in five minutes. In fairness, fast breaks and open goals. Are, he's asked to come off to put on the extra attacker. But for the player who came in as a replacement because of COVID at the Euro last year, where Germany used an amazing 28 players to get through the championship. That's tough here today. So, the 32 for Germany, bottom of the picture, didn't play in the first half. That's Semper. He's never, in fact, trained with uh, Alfred Gislas on the German coach. We uh, go back to the team. After a long break, he came in because uh, Fabian Wieder, the right back, injured his ankle. Tuesday and uh, they called him in. A welcome comeback, but uh, not so welcome here at the moment. The ball still loose again. Oh, follow up nicely done. That was in the nick of time. Mertens comes on and scores. The Magdeburg left winger. That was opportune because they were on a passive play call. Initial shot comes off the post, falls into the uh, welcome hands of uh, Lucas Mertens. So Mertens, another who was called into the squad last uh, year. Euro, that's gone wide. Germany come back again. Brooks is in on the left side as well. Semper, no way through there. It is tough for uh, Franz Semper because uh, Gislason has seen him play, of course, but he's never coached him per se. And of course, Semper has not played under the uh, tactical regime of the coach, Andreas Wolf. Deep in discussion with uh, Matthias Andersen, the uh, goalkeeper coach of the German team, a great Swedish international in his time, ironically. 141 internationals for Sweden. Anderson now on the other side. Well, some drums beating louder than others for the German fans. Semper. Brooks. Semper calling Nor back, says, I want my position. Back in the centre. A little bit of pace here now. Oh, tries to find the line, he got there. That's welcome. And Gola, goal number nine. Got Fritzen quickly into the wing. That's nicely done. Good save, Klimper this time. Knorr looks up for options. Looking for the line, stolen out of his hand by Gottfriedsen, who looks up court. Gola makes sure he can't see enough of the court to pass the ball. Sweden decide to bring the ball up slowly. Wise thing to do. And Sweden got up to a nine goal lead now here in this second half, 25 16, before they got going. Pensive bench there. Hefty shot there by Gottfriedsen after that goal. Oh, a bit too close, need to pull back a bit. Now he comes 
down and says, I'll take care, take care of this, pushes Godwinson out of the way. As he resumes in the centre alongside Carl's ball ball. Golas planted himself in between the two tough defenders, but he can take it. Looks, Semper, ah, oh, near post. Nice moment for him, his first goal for Germany. Host of injuries, but a quick throw off by Sweden. And Nikas Pelas gets his second. Switches back again, looks for the Luke's free throw. Oh! Nearly went in, and that's going to be a two minute suspension. And he goes off, and the penalty is given after the uh, earlier misses. And Knorr will take it. 11 for his club this season, scores that one too. Third goal of the game for the 22-year-old. Over the shoulder of the keeper. He's come off, so has Tulin, the goalkeeper, while they're short-handed. Sweden uh, put on the extra attacker to level things up. To the line, trying to get the goalkeeper back in, two of them went for the same thing. Come back again, it's a free throw for Sweden. Stolen. Carl Borg on Vana keep on running towards the bench to get the goalkeeper back on again and running back. This time they're going to do it. Carl Borg on massive play call against Germany who only have one pass left of the four. So they may as well. Uh, the, uh, foot on the ball, Klimka. So one pass and a shot for Germany. No, for Sweden rather. It over the top. Carlos Borgo has got one of the hardest shots in the business. Oh. The fourth fastest of the World Championships two years ago, 114 kilometers an hour. Now the German fans still getting behind their team here. Drum beat goes on. To the wing, big angle now. That's nice. That's very nice. And Boetsky scores his first goal for Germany in one and a half years. Okay. Out of the team for various reasons. for Sweden. Germany have made some inroads, but are still a long way off the pace here. Gottfriedsson looks to the line. Beautiful delivery and slammed away by Peterson. All the bowling action underneath the keeper. Semper back on again. Kirsten and Stein have been used in defence only at the moment. Knorr and Semper in attack. There's a little... Uh, passes the ball, runs in behind. That's very well played. First of the day, place for Magdeburg in Germany. Fuchs, yes, a missile! A little change of direction, and the Fuchs Berlin back there, let's rip. Krista trying to uh, push deep. Oh, straight through, and there could be a two minute suspension there. There was a very high arm on Gottfriedsen on the way through. And it's Kuster. The old Kumaspa player. Just left his arm there a little too long. Anything around neck height will get you sent off. Stop briefly. Sent there, number 32 at the bottom there. He's been 
out, we said, for three years earlier with a crucial ligament initially, and then he had uh, some heart problems, an inflamed muscle. There's Krista. Really took his chance well last year at the European Championships to establish himself in the German team as uh, preparations are made. It seems for some more changes for Sweden. That could be uh, nice to watch as Oskar Bergendahl is warming up. Germany, there's an empty goal at the other end as they put on the extra attacker for the suspension. And, uh, they won't come easier than that for Alvin Lagerbund. Ironically, uh, teammates with Yuri Knorr and for that matter, Patrick Wojcicki and Weinik Alu. Acceleration passes off. Semper gets a free throw. Get past, but a uh, little push in the air. There it is. By Darby. Eight goals in it. Someone was coming up behind him. Wasn't sure who it was. But, uh, no chance there for Semper to steal it from him. Change the goalkeeper while we're watching down this end. Tulin has come off, played superbly. Fabian Norsten is now on, who plays for Gummerspa, German side. Down the middle, comfortably picked out this time by Till Klinker. Four year old Wetzlar keeper. Austin, 22 years of age, his third international for Germany. Moved from Skogde in uh, Sweden to play for Gummerspa this year. And his teammates with that man there. Juri Knorr. Knorr, oh, in fact, what am I saying? With Kosta, rather. Gummerspa, who interestingly were promoted from the uh, second division this summer. It's a great name, won a lot of the Bundesliga titles, but then got relegated a few years back. Now they're back up again. Their Krista has uh, contributed hugely to that. Austin, for his part, though, new to the team this year. Well, that's a little bit of luck. Took a deflection. They say they all count. And Mertens gets his second. Oh, there's a huge angle now on that wing there. Not too much uh, chance for Klinker as Daniel Peterson shoots over the top. Carl Sporgård didn't get the second touch, he'd have been inside the area. Klar. Klar again. He'll pull back. Changes now for Sweden. Wholesale changes like they did in the first half, midway through. So Bergendahl is coming on. Sandel returns, Johansson. Is going off, Karl Sporgo is gone, Gottfriedsen has another break, Dari is off. Chance really to turn the bench and uh, with 15 minutes to go and an eight-goal lead. Sweet probably feel we've got enough of a cushion, but uh, still quality in depth. None of these are going to slow the pace. I can tell you in Bergendal made a superb Euro last year and was voted best defender of the championship. Uh, the second competition. Linka needs that bit of a morale boosting touch on the ball. And that's gone through, that's good. Oh, 
Ty Hefner gets his second. Free throw. Bergendahl getting in the way. Ironically, as uh, they were trying to get the ball out to Sandel. There it is again, a little shift, and then straight pass Norston. Sighted until that ball suddenly emerged from between two defenders. Bergendahl in at the back on the line for Sweden. He played in the World Championships two years ago, but played for only five minutes in one match. One year later, at the Euro last winter. Turned out to be one of the best players in the Swedish team. The Swedish team that was bristling with talent already. He gets a free throw for that one, Bergendahl. This goes to show when the moment's right, you'll get the chance. Krista right up at the front of the defence as they try and push deep again. Uh, Glenn Solberg, coach of the Swedish team, Norwegian player. He was a great player in his time, playmaker, played 122 internationals for Norway. Has to find a way through. Oh, Gola follows him but steps inside the area to give away the penalty. Lucas Pellas will take it. Taken any penalties this year at Montpellier in France because uh, Hugo Disca tends to get that uh, that job. Clearly, he's lost uh, none of his knack because he was a regular play, uh, penalty taker before. Plus, who came in for uh, Vana in the semi final last year of the European Championships. the wrist of his. It's very nicely done, clever play, sucked in the defenders, nearly had his hand on it, Pelas, but twisted it very neatly around the keeper. Deeper than ever defence now, they tried this a little bit in the first half, it didn't really work, but just a long way out. To stop these... Uh, Crosses, the ball is stolen, that has worked. Boetsky, has he got the pace? He has, and scores again. Back-to-back -back goals for Patrick Boetsky. There was the uh, pick-up by Kuster. Kellas tried to cover, but just didn't quite have the pace on him. Pressure. Well, there's a little bit of a <laughs> two minute suspension. Yeah, unfortunately, two of the players got involved in a bit of a tussle. Off goes Johansson for Sweden and Mertens for Germany. One pulled the other down, but uh, the other one then reacted. Johansson frustrated, lashed a little bit, and uh, both get their marching orders.
two minutes suspension. Uh, Erik uh, Johansson, the 22 year old relative newcomer to the team. The team of Germany, Lucas Mertens, the number 42 for Sweden. Yeah, second in lowest number of uh, caps. Just 11 for Sweden compared to Norston, who is on two coming into this game. There's Lucas Mertens. Goalkeeper is out for Germany. They've got a bit of a power play here into the wing. That's nicely done. Big angle. Schiller pulls another one back. His third of the game. Oh, they're closing right back. It's five goals now with ten minutes to go. Sweden do the same. They take out their goalkeeper on the extra attacker while they're short-handed and it gives them a power play oh yes Klimka saves but Steinert stepped inside the area and gives away the penalty bit of mopping required well he teased him they thought he was going to stand and pass the ball but instead just re-accelerated into the gap Ranger keeper Wolf comes back in again for Germany to face Lucas Pelas. Scored one already. Comes a long way forwards and saves. Brilliant. Gets his leg on the shot. Klinker applauds. He still won't stay on though. Klinker will be the one to go back on. On the next defence, and Pelas comes away empty-handed. Gap stays five goals. Goalkeeper out. Klinka waiting to come back on again. Hefner, two in on the line at the moment. Brooks has gone in as well. Big player, Brooks. To the wing again. Big angle, Schiller. Yes! It's a comeback. Slowly but surely, from nine goals down, Germany are now just four behind. Chance there for Norston. Schiller, who's having a terrific season at Göppingen. Klaar. Free throw. Defending with uh, renewed passion, Germany. Play on, but uh, Klimka turned to the referee and the uh, play seemed to be continuing. And uh, it's some more mopping that's required, but we've also now got a blood injury. Steinert has taken a blow to the head in that last uh, defense. They'll come off and get treated. Uh, it's a team timeout anyway for Sweden, who used their second. Both have one left now. Is it for Mette now, Jan? We play the same. Two, two, two men. Come in fast instead. Växlar in to Lukas. When you stand over him, so you're high with two men. Spring you in back on. And they'll be hoping to get him back on again, but for the moment he's going to the changing rooms to uh, get him treated, but uh, if it requires stitches or anything else with uh, Eight minutes remaining. There was the, uh, the clash. He seemed to only realise he cut his eyebrow when he looked at the ground, and that's what Klinka was saying. He's bleeding. There's blood on the floor right in front, and the referee is quite rightly reacted quickly to stop the game. So play resumes. Very deep now, looks more like a 3-2-1 defence, but with Kuster almost at the halfway line. Kla, Kuster cuts in, stolen, Gola, passed out the Dukes, into the wing, there's a bit of space. Oh, good save, Norston. Oh, a chance to bring it back even closer for Germany, goes begging, there was the steal, that was good. Dukes moved the ball out quick. Cut back towards the middle, but Mertens misses. That was a good save, got his hand on it, Norston.
after a difficult start to the half, Clint Goat conceded six goals in five minutes. And a shot by Knorr there, defender got his hand on the ball, it took the sting out of the shot. Norston picks it up and passes it out. Sweden. They want to slow the pace, but not being given too much of a chance, and I think with that uh, slight panic, Gottfriedsen's been brought back on again to uh, try and bring some order to the back line. Going to play left back for the moment, though, where there's a little bit more space. I was lucky because Germany knew he stole that again. Bergendahl trying to make space but can't. Passive plays called against them. They've used up three passes. Surely there's only one left. And the crowd cheer quite rightly. That was excellent defence by Germany. And Gislas on the coach must be absolutely delighted. He's saying, is that one pass? And the answer, yes, and Klimk has got it. Germany may rue that terrible start to the second half because now they are really motoring here. They've gone from nine goals down to being just four behind. Could have been three if they put that last uh, fast break away. And the crowd are now up and running again. Hefner. He's come on for Steiner, who's gone off with that uh, cut to the eye. Oh! Knorr looking for the wing. And that was comfortably intercepted by Peterson. Sweden will look to slow it down. Kosto is not coming on for the moment. They seem to have decided to revert back to 6 0 defence. No, pushing up a little. Now they change. Drugs comes up in the front. Klaar. Flatten the defence in the middle, that's nicely done by Sweden, Bergendahl! Gola almost lifts him and moves him about three metres to the left. And Bergendahl has a little exchange on the way past with Johannes Gola. No harm done. Solid defending, Bergendahl's used to that too. Well... The opening few minutes of the second half, we didn't quite think we'd be uh, back here with uh, what looks like a nice, exciting finish. Costa is now back on again, right up at the front. Ricks has gone back into two right in defence. He's in front of Gottfriedsen. Oh yes, Bergendahl gets clear. Oh, brilliant save! Till Klimka again. Germany on the break. Sweden back in already though, very fast to come back. No. Time is not on their side, Germany though. They just uh, stop the uh, clock briefly. Klinka celebrates that save. Well, Klinka has really, really put in a sterling effort in the last 10 minutes or so. But only four minutes remaining and four goals to make up for Germany. Hafner briefly saw a little bit of light there. Kuster now staying on in attack. Into the wing, that's not a big gap and that's gone well wide, Kloetsky. Norston in no hurry to get the ball back. Austin's done well after a uh, slow start. And only his third international. Kirsto is pushing up again. Ah, got Fitzsons trying to get clear. Brooks got two to cover. Well, he went for the back player in the end, and that just left Sandel free at the back.
Martin. He has scored one third of all Germany's goals in this match. With two and a half minutes remaining, they are still four behind, though, Germany. Christo is uh, staying at the moment, 6 0. Is he pushing up? He's straying out a little. He's given up on the very deep defence and decided now to work around the nine metres. Plough looking for the line, Bagendal free. That's nice. Took pace off the ball with a broken wrist shot and he gets his first goal of the game. Now only Valinius, who's not been on for Sweden, has not scored. Everyone else is on the score sheet. Of course, apart from the goalkeepers. Last two minutes, Hefner looks to the line, that's not going to work. He tries to switch to the wing, puts it back in. Oh, beautiful! Would have been a penalty anyway, with defending inside the area, and that's goal number 11 for Gola. That was a nicely worked goal, just managed to keep his feet outside the area. Steiner has just come up the corridor from the changing rooms. He's just looking on. He came out to see if they had closed the gap. Oh, there's that long shot. Brilliant. Absolute missile by Eric Johansson. His fourth goal. And we go into the last minute. Sweden safe. Mugula hasn't finished quite yet. That's 12 goals. A huge performance for the German captain. 40 seconds to go. Germany now needing to think a little about that conserving energy ahead of this weekend's match away in Spain. Top three goal scorers. Gola way out in front with his 12 goals. Ahead of Darien Ekberg on five each. That's gone in. Quick throw out to the middle. Johansson was the scorer on that one. His fifth, and that may be the last word of the game. Kuster gets his first of the game. Seconds tip away. And there goes the buzzer. And the Sweden have won here, but not after a superb fight back by Germany. Who